New polling data out today. Good news for Trump, Ted Cruz, and Marco Rubio. Donald Trump still leading the Republican presidential field, according to a new poll. Well, Ben Carson is collapsing. Trump polls 27% of Republican voters, according to the new Quinnipiac National poll released Wednesday. He is then followed by Rubio at 17%. So he's 10 points higher than Marco Rubio at 17%. Ben Carson, Ted Cruz are tied at 16% in the same poll last month. Trump barely led Carson at 24% to Ben Carson's 23%. So Trump has gone up despite all the media backlash to everything. If Donald Trump steps out of his helicopter the wrong way, uh, Donald Trump is slammed for it. Now, he has said some stupid things, but he has also said things where I have told you he will not be hurt. He has only gained. Now, he hasn't gained a lot, and he seems to be hovering in that 24 to 27% range. And as Matt McCoviak has brought up, Matt, uh, I think he said that Trump's ceiling is probably right around 30%. Seems like that would be correct. But how about Ted, Ted Cruz at 16%? That's big for Ted Cruz. And for Marco Rubio, uh, who early this month, I'm sorry, early last month, uh, in, in November, Marco Rubio was doing very, very well and was gaining headlines. And then he started losing those headlines to Ted Cruz. And there were some out there who said, "Uh uh-oh, maybe Ted Cruz is going to even eclipse Marco Rubio. And Ted Cruz is going to have this huge gain. And he did have a huge gain, but he did not overtake Rubio. So it was good news for those three, bad news for Ben Carson who continues to tumble in the polls. And there's another debate coming up on December 15th where who knows uh, how that'll go for Ben Carson. He has not done well, in my opinion, in any of the debates. I, I've just not been impressed with Ben Carson. Nice guy. Very nice guy. But I don't see him being the nominee. Yeah, too low-key maybe. Too Too calm. In the age of, you look at, voters want a fighter. That Donald Trump is a fighter. Whether you like him or not, he's a fighter. Ted Cruz is a fighter. He's outspoken. Marco Rubio, I would say he's a fighter. He's not as outspoken as Ted Cruz, don't get me wrong. But these are guys with personalities. Maybe that's the best way to put it. These are all guys with personalities who lead the race. Jeb, pouring Jeb. He's down in the polls. And Ben Carson, who, hey, he's a nice, thoughtful guy, but, nah, kind of boring. Kind of seems bored. And I know that's not, it's not the best way to choose the next president of the United States, but I will say this about Ben Carson. I don't know how much he knows on national security. On foreign policy, there are a lot of questions I have for Ben with Ben Carson, and then I think a lot of voters are feeling the same way. But Ben Carson tied with Ted Cruz at sixteen percent. I predict you will see Ted Cruz rise to second place before the end of the year. Now the December fifteenth debate will be huge for Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio. I think that debate may determine who finishes it finishes this year in second place. They will both have momentum. But how I see the trends going, it would not surprise me if Donald Trump hovers around 25%, and you may have Ted Cruz hit 18%, maybe close to 20%. It would not surprise me if that happens. With Rubio right around 17, 18% by the end of this year. Now again, if something comes out about Ted Cruz or Rubio, I mean, you know, anything can change. But that's just how I, how I see the race uh, trending right now.
No other Republican candidate, no other Republican candidate cracked the double digits. Jeb Bush was in fifth place at 5%. In the Democratic presidential race, Hillary Clinton continued to lead big, leading Bernie Sanders 60 to 30%. So Donald Trump's still number one out there. Uh, despite the media attacks on Donald Trump, despite the attacks from other candidates, Donald Trump's still number one. Now, when you look at Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio, they're gaining on him. I think with Ben Carson, and this is why I predict that Ted Cruz's numbers will go up, Ben Carson will continue to collapse. And I think once Ben Carson really, really collapses, Many of Ben Carson's supporters go to Ted Cruz as their first choice. Many of Ben Carson's supporters, their second choice, Ted Cruz. Their third choice might be Marco Rubio. I don't see any of Ben Carson's second choice being Donald Trump. Nobody's second choice is Donald Trump. Maybe some of the Cruz supporters. Maybe. Uh, And this is what both Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio have uh, leaned on is we're the choice and we're the second choice of the vast majority of people. You know, if they can't have Jeb, if they can't have Ben Carson, if they can't have Scott Walker or Rick Perry or insert your candidate here, then we'll go with Ted Cruz or Ben Carson. Now, Chris Christie, where do you think Christie uh, figured in on this? What do you think, Jody? Chris Christie's made big headlines lately, right? He just got the endorsement of the New Hampshire, uh, new, uh, one of the, the big paper in New Hampshire. Jeb Bush finished at 5%. Chris Christie's at 2%. 2. Now, if you were to Google Chris Christie's name today, he would appear, I believe, in more headlines than Jeb Bush. He may appear in more headlines the Marco Rubio. All the D.C. media, start paying attention to this. The D.C. media, CNN, Fox, MSNBC, you are seeing a big push from mainstream media, from the D.C. media of Chris Christie. And I'm wondering if Chris Christie is their new Jeb. That Chris Christie has more of an upside than Jeb Bush. And let's start pushing the name Christie, because here's here's how this works, folks. The more media attention you get, the higher polling numbers go. It's just that's it that's just how it happens. And I've got numerous stories today with Chris Christie's name in them. You know, starting with the New Hampshire endorsement, start uh, endorsement starting, you know, with, with this fight between Chris Christie and Ted Cruz, Christie taking on Cruz and Rubio on national security, but mainly Ted Cruz. Just watch. The rest of this month, you will see Chris Christie's name, I believe, mentioned more and more and more by the national media. He doesn't deserve it. He's at 2%. He's tied with Rand Paul. He's polling below Carly Fiorina. I haven't seen Carly Fiorina's name in anything lately. She's nowhere. Uh, Rick Santorum... 0%, 0%, Pataki, 0%, Lindsey Graham, 0%. All these people need to drop out. But Chris Christie, his name is everywhere. And no one supports the guy. He's at 2%. You would think that he'd be in third place right now. He, you would think, in all honesty, you would think that he was right behind Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz in fourth place and Ben Carson had fallen into fifth place. But just watch, uh, Chris Christie, his numbers may rise a little bit uh, because of the media coverage, but I, I think Chris Christie might be the new old darling of the media. They love the guy. Back in You go back to 2012, 2011, the media loved Chris Christie because he's a, he's a moderate. He's a moderate Republican. He's brash like Donald Trump. He's a hell of a lot more fun to cover than Jeb. 
And so if you're the media, maybe you're looking at Chris Christie going, eh, maybe we can push this guy along. He's got more of an upside than Jeb does. All right, before we get to the phones, I just want to read to you a couple of headlines. Donald Trump, he is leading by 10 points over Marco Rubio. 11 points over Ted Cruz. Here are just two of the headlines that are out there. One from CNN. Trump, for the good of America, get out of the race. And then this one, this is an opinion piece, but from the Washington Post, Donald Trump is a bigot and a racist. They're trying harder. They're trying a little bit harder to go after. Look, I think Donald Trump has said some dumb things. Do I think Donald Trump is a bigot and a racist? No. The media wants to create Donald Trump as a bigot and a racist. But he's not a bigot and a racist. He he has done nothing to show me that he's a bigot and a racist. But the the headlines today, Donald Trump for the gut of America, get out. How about this one, CNN? Barack, for the good of America, resign. How about... How about that one? We should have seen that one a long time ago. But CNN, they wouldn't dare. They wouldn't dare post a story like that. But instead, it's Trump, for the good of America, get out of the race.